Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This video is going to be pretty quick. If you've installed Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your Steam Deck and you're wondering why is my screen so blurry, literally the only thing you have to do is disable full screen optimizations or go into your options and put in some type of windowed mode. That's it, you're done. If that's all you wanted out of this video, thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you want to understand more on why that's happening or if you want to know, uh, say you get a batch file that will go through every game in your Steam directory and automatically disable full screen optimizations, you can actually just check, uh, click on the chapter links below. That's cool as well. Let's go into why why this is happening so with windows 8 windows 10 that whole bit one of the things when you hear full screen optimizations one thing that you might kind of attribute with optimizations is performance that's not what's going on here full screen optimizations from microsoft's point of view is optimizations for the user experience i.e that typically when you have the operating system composite on the screen it can do other things like composite a virtual keyboard on the screen if this was exclusive full screen mode the os would no longer be compositing anything it would give the application full control and we'd be skipping the whole compositing step if that was the case this virtual keyboard would not pop up but it is which means that microsoft with full screen optimizations is overriding exclusive full screen mode and instead is doing a kind of borderless full screen window now let's go into the options just so you can kind of see we can see it's like not so clear there. In fact, Austin Evans did a review on the GPD Win 3, and in his review, he said that the screen was kind of blurry. It's kind of unfortunate because anyone that was watching that might attribute it to the hardware when that's not the case. This is the INEO, same hardware, and this is running some form of Linux. And you can clearly see that the text is way, way more clear. Now, this is using Gamescope as its compositor, so that is not going to have the same problems as what Windows is doing here because Windows is trying to accomplish a lot of different things on a lot of different hardware. In any event, let's quickly show you what this looks like, you can see the text right there. Let's go ahead and we're going to go into options and we're going to go to graphic settings and we're going to just go to windowed mode. And right away, you can see it's clear as day. Now we're going to do another thing here. We're going to disable full screen optimizations. And then we're also going to uh, show you the batch file that you can automatically do that through every game. And then it'll kind of just do that. But you can see that it it is blurry even on this screen, which is totally different hardware. This is still running AMD. This is running Intel. It really doesn't matter. The core problem is these particular displays, again, they're, they're 800 by 1280, which is the same as the Steam Deck, and Steam Deck will have these same problems. So if you just disable full screen optimization and put it in windowed mode, you, your, any blurry screen problem is going to be solved. So let's go ahead and disable full screen optimizations real quick. All right, right now I'm doing the manual method, so I'm just going to go to the EXE itself and go to Properties. And if we go to Compatibility, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and disable full screen optimizations, and we'll click Apply here. Click OK. That's it. We're done. Now, if we go ahead and run the game again, all of our problems are going to be fixed. All right. So now the game is loaded. You can see all the text is way, way more crystal clear. In addition, because we are actually running in exclusive full screen mode, there actually is going to be a small performance improvement by disabling full screen optimizations because we're actually removing that compositing uh, step in the chain and things will just be a tiny bit faster in some cases a, a good bit faster but you always get some type of small performance improvement but we'll go ahead and just take a look at options real quick and we'll go to graphic settings and you can see that we're still in full screen mode on so that's pretty much it and that was that now if you wanted to go ahead and take a look at how to use the batch file we're going to show you right here now all right, just so you can briefly see here, I am running Windows 11. This is the AMD 4800U GPD Win Max, and it really doesn't matter. If we go ahead and take a look here, I am running Windows 10 here on the AMD 4500U. Really, it is just how Microsoft mangles things up with an 800 by 1280 display with their desktop Windows Manager overriding full screen exclusive mode and making a borderless full screen window. So we got that part. Now, I want you to download a batch file that is from the GPD Discord. And I'm going to link that in the description field below. In there, you're going to jump into the tools channel and you're going to be having a bunch of tools that might be useful for you in your win new Windows environment on your Steam Deck. However, what we want is this uh, full screen optimizations fix right here. So now, uh, one thing that you should always do whenever you download a bad file is never just run it. You should take a look at it. So when we take a look at this file, this is what it looks like. You should really check and see if it's trying to do anything malicious but this is what it looks like. Just verify that the bat you're getting is directly from the tools channel on the GPD Discord that I'm linking below. Don't get it from someone else because they might be doing something nefarious. Anyway, before I go ahead and run that, if we take a look at the EXE here, there are two different executables that Cypher has created. Um, all these bats are typically made by Cypher. You can see that if we look at full screen optimizations right there, it is not checked right now. 
So if I go ahead and just cancel this and go back, he, uh, Cypher has made two different full screen optimization autom automation uh, files. One is a filtered one and the other one is everything. Basically this, the filtered one will skip setup files and other stuff and do this one, I'll just do the exe. So go ahead and do that and then let this close. The other one will go through every other file. So it really is just what you want to do. But now that I've run that, we go ahead and click on properties and we go to, not that, go here, we go here. We go to compatibility. You can see that disable full screen optimizations is done. Now, what's nice about this batch file is that it will go through every game that Steam installs for you and automatically disable full screen optimizations. All right, so now we're running. You can see that everything is super crystal clear. Now, the things, there are some caveats to just disabling full screen optimizations uh, willy nilly. If, again, this is exclusive full screen mode, so we're no longer compositing, which means that there is a slight performance boost. The game is directly pushing to the display. If the game tries to force a resolution that the Steam Deck's display does not support, you're gonna get a black screen. The good news here is that at least on a Windows display, remember that we're not, this virtual keyboard button no longer does anything because we're exclusive full screen mode. The good news is that Steam's virtual keypad still works because it's injecting the Steam overlay in there and the Steam virtual keyboard is still inside of this injected uh, Steam overlay. So the Steam keyboard still will work in exclusive full screen mode because of how it's actually operating in the game itself. So you still have that option, especially on a Steam Deck that doesn't have a physical keyboard on it. But because you don't have that keyboard, I can eject myself much more cleanly if I were to try to force a resolution that is not supported. So let's go ahead and try to do something stupid. That's what would happen if you try to force a resolution that Again, because the game is trying to force something. Now, normally what you would have is like every game that does this has its own built-in safety mechanism where it will give you 20 seconds to say, yes, this is the resolution that you want. And then it'll pull the ejector seat and revert back to the previous setting. But this is the one caveat to why it might be bad to do actual exclusive full screen mode on these types of stuff, especially on a Steam Deck when you don't have a keyboard. Because I have a keyboard on the... GPD Win Max, I can just Alt F4 and eject myself and then fix whatever I need to fix. So that is one caveat to it. So you might want to just do windowed mode instead of exclusive full screen mode. But hopefully that fully explains everything that what's going on and why when you installed Windows, you have a blurry screen and some of the pitfalls and caveats to actually enabling uh, exclusive full screen mode, especially on a device like the Steam Deck. But it will give you slightly better performance because exclusive full screen mode is definitely 100% better than compositing. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.